guys, how the devil are you? My name is George, also known as That One Scottish Guy. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Souls. Um, if you're just joining me for the first time, why are you joining me on part 3? Go watch part 1 and 2. If not, welcome! Yeah. Anyway, I am decided I'm going to do something a little bit crazy for me. Um, I've never beat this guy head on. This big guy that's marching around wherever he is. I've lost him. Where are you? There he is. Uh, I've never beat him head on. I've always took him out from afar. Um, usually with a crossbow, but I don't have a crossbow yet. So I'm just going to dive in and uh, get muggled by him, basically. Is uh, what I'm saying. So yeah, we'll give it a jolly good go. And um, see how it goes. I'm just going to follow him round here. Uh, picking up items as I go. I know I could probably just sneak past them and not even bother with them. And I might actually do that because that's sounding really good right now. Because he is a big guy and he's dangerous. And generally if you're a little guy and you, you, you see a big guy like that, you don't go picking fights with him, do you? You, you can avoid him. I think he might have seen me. He hasn't. Thankfully, he's just marching past. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Anyway, apologies for that. Um, John Hammond talking about a. Yeah, you know what I mean. The Jurassic Park, where he's uh, talking about the the little intro video they have there in Jurassic Park. You know what I mean, don't you? No. Uh, I I apologise. I'm rambling. You know what I get like when I ramble, when I ramble, I ramble. I mean, right now I'm really rambling. So that's uh, actually quite pleasing. I don't need to bother with him. Because uh, I wasn't really wanting to bother with him, to be honest with you. I would rather just uh, kind of unlock the shortcut to the bonfire and then deal with him later. Which I might do. Uh, you might have noticed I'm using a shield now. Um, yeah, I, d I did say that I... Um, was going to be a, a jumpy about kind of Dex character um, and part that's partly still true the truth is if I was just relying on my um, jumpy about kind of skills then this let's play would just be full of clips of me dying and that might be great for you that might be very entertaining for you guys but for me that wouldn't be much fun so yeah so I've decided I will still use Dex weapons, I will still of course use um, sorceries as I planned. Um, this could all backfire on me, it has. And he's still not seen me so that's alright. Um, I'm still, I realise the proper way to get to there is to actually drop down from the balcony above but I was just trying to see if you can get to it from there. I can't even remember what that item is, it might just be a load of rubbish. But I kinda want it, and I kinda want to get it uh, through this way. <laughs> just to prove that I can. And I can. That was pleasing. Ring of Sacrifice, that's what it is. It's a shame you can't just pull yourself up in Souls games, isn't it? You've got to, it's got to make you go the long way. So, I'm kind of pleased that you can actually walk a little bit while using your Estus flasks now and you're not just glued to the spot. Um, I'm pretty sure in previous games you were glued to the spot. I might be making that up. I probably am actually. What am I like? Uh, this is quite a hefty ambush here if you're not expecting it. I actually forgot about it. <laughs> Um yeah, so if you watched my Enter the Gungeon video that went up yesterday, you will know I'm actually playing without uh, game sound just now, uh, because a few of you um, requested that the face cam come back, probably purely just to watch my facial expressions as I fail. That's the only reason I can think of why. Do you know what I've not done yet? I've not went and freed my little thief friend. I should do that. I will do that. Um, shortly actually. I can't remember if there's any items around about here, I'm just breaking stuff for the sake of breaking stuff. Uh, this is a shortcut that leads back to the, the bonfire. Um, 
the like the very first bonfire. So yeah, I'm just unlocking this just now so that I can start um, uh, get ready to fight the first boss. But I think I will um, now that I've unlocked this bit. I will go to the other bonfire where I kind of left off last time, and I will go and free my little thief friend, and we'll see what he has to say. I knew I forgot something. I always do. But if you are uh, subscribed to me, um, you're not subscribed to me for my reliability. I can't even speak. So why should you be subscribed to me, really? Oh, I forgot about you. Uh dear, this is going to go bad. Yep, yep. Ah, my camera. Jeez Louise, that was almost terrible. Ooh, I didn't expect him to die there, I expected uh, to have to roll back and take another hit uh, in a little minute. In a little minute. I'm sure that makes sense to somebody. It doesn't to me, that's for sure. Um, I think this is a bonfire up here, I might be wrong. Yep, there's a bonfire. Let's get rid of this little guy. Give me a... I need a crossbow! Still don't have one. It's most upsetting. I'm sure there's probably one line about. I couldn't. I can't remember if you get the crossbow from a drop, or if it is just something lying about that you do find. Cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, so what was I going to do? I know I was going to go see my little Fifi guy, but I'm just going to have a little look about here. And, uh, because I can't really remember what's up here. I think it's, uh, oh, yeah, I do. It's one of those guys that does the, the stuff coming out of him. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to grab, oh, a longbow. That's even better than a crossbow. So I'm just going to, oh, jeez. I didn't expect them to attack me through the wall. So let's just go back to the bonfire and we'll go do the, we'll go see what the thief has to say for himself, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. And then, then, I'm going to go back to Firelink Shrine, grab myself some arrows, and then we shall continue on. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. We should, should, now I'm trying to keep these videos round about the 20, 25 minute mark. Um, I should manage at least one attempt at the boss um, in this video, I think. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Things never go to plan. You'll know that if you're subscribed to me as well. Yeah. So let's go free the thief. And um, he gives us a little quest. So let's go see what he wants. Shall we? I think we shall. I'm still always paranoid that that knight sees me. Even though I'm pretty confident we could take him out. Still don't want to chance it. Because he is a crafty little fellow. Um, I think I'm just going to resign myself to the fact that I'm never going to be good at a... Jeez. Uh, a Souls game if I don't use a shield. See these... See he put a message in front of, right in front of a ladder like that. No matter how helpful that message is, you are the worst human being in the world. Don't do it. Not right in front of a ladder. There we go. Apologies if you can hear the, the buttons of the pad clicking. I do realise that I'm holding it fairly close to my microphone. I shall rectify that in the very near future. Yeah. Um, where am I going? There is another guy. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I got a bit disorientated there, and then just as I was trying to figure out where I was, I remembered that there was another guy coming to get me. And sure enough, there he was. So yeah. Do -do 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 -do. So here he is, he's our little thief friend, he's wearing a lovely little mask. I'm not a jailer sir, no, 
No, I am not. I am from far away. Yep, that bell was for me. I am on Kindle Dash. You, you have it. You got me. I will do you a favour. A musty little town. Yeah, it's not a nice place. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Apologies for that. Please give her this ring. I'm not asking for charity, in fact. If you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I may be a petty thief, but I have more wits than Morse royalty. I believe you. Yeah, I will grant your request, sir. Give this ring to old Roletta. Do your part and I'll do mine. A blue tear stone ring. Uh, let's see what that does again. Uh, increases damage absorption when HP is low. Let's just wear it for funsies. He, did, he said I would to give it to the woman. He didn't say I could use it until I see her. If I see her. Yeah. Um, upwards, onwards and upwards rather. Upwards and onwards. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, where am I going now? I am going back to Fire Lunch Shrine and we'll get some arrows for our bow. Yeah, I do like having a bow. It is joyful fun. I always have one now these now bad days. Um let us go to Firelink Shrine. Oh pretty tired tonight. I'm always tired right enough. That's the joy of narcolepsy. I'm always tired. Uh, some things more so than others. But I'm always tired, guaranteed. Anyway, here we are. Let's go to our lovely little merchant. I don't even know her name, I feel bad. Yes, yes, Handmaiden. Apologies that I'm skipping. Shrine Handmaid is her name. Or description, rather. Apologies that I am just uh, skipping through... I need arrows. Arrows are cheaper than bolts. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take a whack. Let's take... Um, I think the most you can actually carry at once is 99. Yeah, a weird change, I know. I don't like that change myself. Um, so yeah, I think I should be okay to use that. Longbow. And... Standard arrows and wood arrows. So, yeah. And... It's not affected my roll, so that is good. Now... Let's go to... I have to remember to go back to the other bonfire now that we've unlocked the shortcut. So yeah, we're going to the high wall of raw Lothric, Lothric. Yeah. Where the hell is my cat? She's in this room somewhere, but I don't know where she is. She's been awful quiet. And when she's been quiet, that's not a good thing. Because she's usually up to no good. I don't know where she is. Hmm. Strange. Nope, I have no idea where she is. Anyway, enough about my cat. Are you interested about my cat? She's a lovely cat. Oh, you cheeky chappy. Didn't expect you to be hiding in there. Um. Anyway, yep, I have a lovely cat. If you follow me on Instagram, there's probably a picture of her on there. She is a main coon. Which is, um, her breed that just means she's a very furry beast. And, um, yeah, you can understand uh, my problem with, if you watched my Enter the Gungeon, I shared my woes about the cat sleeping on my daughter's bed when she's not allergic to animals. I've went through all this already, so I feel about repeating it. Uh, she's not allergic to animals, but she does have other allergies, and cat hair um, can exasperate them, and um, the cat is molting just now because we're getting into the hotter weather, so yeah. 
there is an interesting cat fact. Lovely cat story. So yep, I'm go I'm heading down towards uh, the boss area now. And I will have to deal with this ambush again. Stabby stabby! I thought they would have been out by now. Where did they even come from? I've never actually noticed. Ah, there we go. Ah! I was hoping I could have got um, a number of them at once. I got two of them, which isn't bad, I suppose. I think that's them. If you're not expecting them, they can be... You can get killed by them. I've never been killed by them, but that's not to say I couldn't be killed by them, because I can be killed by anything in this game. One lowly undead shambling about kills me easily. In fact, um, just before uh, I started recording uh, this, I was getting myself back from uh, the bonfire down to where the big guy is stomping about. And see the ladder that leads down to where the, the bonfire is? I actually fell off it and died. I didn't fall off it, but I rolled to avoid the... The, 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 I rolled to avoid the guy who's shooting um, a crossbow at you up there and yeah I fell down, died because the camera spun because I tried to I, I released my lock on from him at the same time as rolling and yeah you know how that goes never ends well hello little guy So I will clear out this area because there is a important uh, NPC that I do need to speak to at the other side. Uh, this is the boss room here. Um, so yeah, I could go do that right now. But I need to go speak to someone first of all. I don't need to, I can do it in either order really. This is just my preferred order. So yeah, there's a couple of knights walking about up here, and you just, you only want to aggro one, because you know, death and that. Death and that is good uh, a reason for avoiding enemies as any, I suppose. Don't you dare kill me. To die now would just be tragic. <laughs> Always satisfying to get a backstab. And then the horror when you you run in to finish him off and then realise that your stamina is low. It's just part of the soul's experience, isn't it? In fact, that is the soul's experience. There's nothing else to the game. <laughs> it's panicking over your stamina. I kid, I kid. There's loads to the game. Loads. La 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 Managed not to aggro them, so I'm happy about that. Happy about that. I've never noticed that ladder there actually, so I'm guessing there is more um, to this area. So let's see what this little uh, lady has to say. Now the way to the long and kindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. There's a guy climbing up my ear. You'll not find the Lords of Cinder here, they are gone. Gone, gone, gone. To their churning homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of High Wall. Fold John through the Great Gate and raise the banner to proceed. So basically, um, after you beat this boss down here, you need that uh, small banner item to continue. <laughs> Those uh, knights. Well, I thought I'd aggroed him, but I don't think I have. I don't need to uh, avoid aggroing these guys. I would just rather go into this boss fight with um, five Estus flags because... I have a confession to make. I have never 
beat him without, in fact I've never fought him without summoning so it's not just a case of I've never beat him. I've never, I've never attempted to beat him without uh, summoning other players. So this will be a first for me. Happy days and all that. So let us just not aggro these knights. All these uh, pilgrims are lying about on the ground, dead. So, even if I wanted to summon someone in, I can't, because there's no summon signs. Not one. And I did say I would give a boss a jolly good go before summoning other players in, and that I am going to do. So here we go. I'm not looking forward to this, because this guy is a... Uh, Speedy. So he is. Speedy, speedy, speedy. <sighs> deary, deary me. He's behind you. I can't remember the name of the boss. Yeah. But know this, I have never done it without summoning. I've never fought him without summoning. I'm making it sound as if I've attempted it, um, but I haven't. Never. Because I'm a jolly corporation kind of player, so this um, Vort of the Boreal Valley, that's him. Um, I am a jolly corp, uh, jolly corporation type. Ah, damn it. Uh, type of player, so yeah, I am very much a summon and be summoned kind of guy. After I um, beat this guy with help from um, some jolly summoned friends, I of course uh, returned to the area, stuck my summon sign down and helped other people do it, because that is how I like to play Dark Souls. I am just, I'm usually a sun bro. So this is all, these solo fighting bosses, this is all new to me. This guy, if you just stay, this is, uh, I'm pretty much just using the same tactics I um, use while fighting them with other players, just stick in close at them. Um, he does have a couple of attacks that if he does catch you with, you're done, kinda. Like this one. Do. You just want to kind of stay close to him, preferably at his back end, his hind end, um, so you do have time to heal if he does catch it, like he did with me there. Now you do have to watch your status um, with him, because he does have frost damage. Uh, it's, I've never actually had my frost meter fill, so I don't know the uh, effect on me if it was to fill up. It's getting pretty close to doing so, so I'm just going to back off and let that go down a bit. So yeah, as long as you don't do anything too stupid with this guy, you can be alright. So yeah. Alright, that is my frost um, thingy down a bit, so let's get back in close. Um, if I did have other players in with me, I would be two-handing my weapon and just kind of going to town on them. So, just because I'm myself, I am being a bit more cautious. And um, I am keeping an eye on that frost meter because I have no idea what happens if that fills. Alright. Oh, damn it. No! Can you believe that? <sighs> Guys, I'm going to end this one here on a low note. Um, join me uh, in two days' time for the next part where I will be kicking that guy's ass. Um, so yeah, join me for that. Thanks very much for watching. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.